In today's video, I share with you how I made $11,964 in a day without investing any time or any money in learning something, acquiring a skill or anything like that. And so can you, if you're interested. And so it begins. Hey guys, my name is Yahya, founder and creator of Record Breaker, where I help you shout across your highest revenue record months in the shortest amount of time. And in Record Breaker, I often tell my clients to make money without spending money. There is a lot of emphasis on creating wealth first before spending more money. And I know people say you need to spend money to make money, but I'm going to prove you wrong today. And I'm going to share with you exactly how I launched my coaching and consulting business four years ago and grew it to a point of making more than $10,000 in one day and by the end of this video you will know exactly how you can do it too this is going to save you tens of thousands of dollars that you may be thinking of investing in buying courses or programs to help you launch your own skill set and the coolest part is you're going to do it without spending a dime so let's rewind back to 2017 i developed a reputation as an exponential growth consultant i'd grown a couple of businesses to eight seven and six figures i was consulting with companies i was working with one-on-one -on -one clients and i was beginning to pursue my interests very aggressively and these were health wellness money biohacking business and mindset and i was beginning to transfer my knowledge my understanding to all the people i was working with individuals in the coaching and consulting sector entrepreneurs business owners so on and so forth and while this was good i was nowhere near having a proper serious business giving me proper serious returns every single month so i decided to take it online essentially take it to the next level when i looked around online the first thing i came across was the great tony robbins's program called the knowledge broker blueprint i bought it for a couple of thousand dollars as a starting point it's a great program it had a ton of things but i found it to be very very theoretical and not enough practicality. I needed more. I needed hands-on practicality because I was in a hurry. I don't like wasting time. So the next thing I did was I hired a business coach. This person specialized in setting up and scaling coaching businesses online without spending money. And so when I started with this person, the next step was to get very clear on a couple of things. The first thing was what market did I want to serve? What problems was I good at solving? The next step was figuring out out of all the problems that I could solve, which problems did I enjoy solving the most? And this is a very important aspect because a lot of people look at markets and industries and niches from the point of view of there's a lot of money here. There's a lot of money to be made there. Let me try doing this. I can make a lot of money. It's actually quite the opposite. There's a lot of money everywhere. You just need to do what you are exceptionally good at. Plus you love doing. That's what makes it sustainable. If you're doing something you hate doing, it's not going to last very long. So I had to figure out the overlap between problems I was good at solving and problems I loved solving. And the third thing to become very clear at was what sort of person or business is experiencing these problems? This was my ideal client avatar. The people who were experiencing a problem that I was fantastic and I loved solving. And then it became a matter of reaching out and connecting with these people. So a common mistake that people make in the industry is trying to solve a problem that's a popular problem to solve versus a very specific problem to solve. Now the problem, pun intended, with popular problems is that there's lots of people solving the same problem. So the customers are spoiled for choice. Now, how do you stand out in a market like that? It's very difficult. The easy part about solving a very specific problem for a very specific type of person is that there's barely any competition. You can charge a great price and you can deliver a fantastic service. The more specific a problem you solve, the more people are drawn to you because instead of a generalist, you're seen as a specialist, a subject matter expert, someone who specializes in solving a specific problem. So I'll give you an example. Imagine someone who's a weight loss coach. Now imagine someone who's a weight loss coach for women looking to lose the last five pounds. Now imagine someone who's a weight loss coach for women looking to lose the last five pounds above the age of 45. Now imagine someone who's looking to solve a weight loss problem for women above the age of 45 who follow a vegetarian diet. Can you see the level of specificity going down and down and becoming super, hyper, ultra niche down? And so the person solving the most specific problem can charge the highest price and is seen as a subject matter expert. This is where the I help statement or the big domino statement comes in. The I help statement simply states what problem you solve, how you solve it, who you solve it for, and what are their roadblocks in solving that problem. I help, insert your avatar, overcome 
insert the problem without using insert what they don't want to use the roadblocks in x amount of time if you want to be more specific so in my case back when i started my first digital product was a mindset program called free your mind and so for free your mind the i help statement was i help people permanently overcome stress anxiety and negative thoughts without fighting or suppressing them in three months. I learned from market research that a lot of people tried fighting negative thoughts and suppressing negative thoughts and they were failing and they didn't want to use that. As my statement evolved, it became without popping pills because the people I was working with did not subscribe to the philosophy of using medication to make their problems go away. So as I became more adept and better at understanding my market, so did my I help statement evolve simultaneously. And as evolution goes today, my statement is I help coaches, consultants and agency owners stuck between 2000 dollars and five thousand dollars start making ten to twenty thousand dollars consistently without sending people cold dms or having to dance on tiktok or make cringy live videos or do all the things they dislike doing that's the level of specificity we need to use what this does is it makes it extremely clear to you who you should work with and who you shouldn't work with. Now, the next step was finding these people and testing my messaging, my marketing on them. So when it came to testing our message in terms of the platform we were going to use, we were spoiled for choice. We have YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, so on and so forth. And so we realized that when you're starting out, you want a platform where you can control the people that come across your message because we're developing the message, we're developing the marketing. And so we started with Facebook because Facebook, unlike like most of the other platforms, except a little bit LinkedIn, gives you the ability to find groups where these people hang out, the people whose problem you solve, and add them to your friend list so you can be hyper specific about the sort of audience that are exposed to your messaging versus, for example, YouTube or Instagram or TikTok, where you have no control over who sees your messaging. So we started with Facebook and we started with Facebook groups. I went ahead and I joined a couple of stress anxiety groups and I started seeing what people were talking about. What were the most popular topics? What were the biggest problems that people were struggling with? And I started adding value. Now here's the thing about value. Most people, especially coaches and consultants, get it wrong. They think you're supposed to add fake value, give like a teaser of what is possible for them and then back away and tell them to work with you. I did pretty much the opposite. I started adding real value, giving them tactical things to do, telling them, go ahead, do this. It's going to solve your problem. Let me know how it goes. And very soon, because I was doing this, I started building a subject matter expert type of reputation. They were like, well, if you have a problem, go speak to Yaya. He's going to solve the problem for you. He's going to tell you what to do. He's going to give you stuff to do that will actually solve the problem instead of giving you something superficial and then telling you to work with them. Very quickly amongst these groups, people started resonating with me. They started respecting my opinion. They started looking up to me. They started asking me for advice the admins the moderators they became fans of mine now when this was happening my friend list essentially the audience that i was building started growing they started adding me as a friend or i added them as a friend it led to lots of conversation with lots of people and i started to learn a lot about the stress anxiety and negative thought niche about the problems people have about the specificity of the situation about all sorts of ways that this manifests in different people and soon enough i was at a point where i was getting a lot of friend requests it was time for me to launch my own growth now a caveat here this is almost four years ago facebook groups are very different today so this step is now optional a lot of my clients that i work with i don't recommend they use facebook groups you can make anywhere between 30 to fifty thousand dollars just by using your facebook profile so you don't need to go through the hassle of creating a group however because it's true for me i used a facebook group and in the group i started giving even more to people i started doing live trainings around the biggest problems they were having i started having q a sessions where people would submit their stuff to me and i would answer their questions i started using polls and topics that they were very interested in and so the community started growing very quickly and before i knew it i was above a thousand members in my group keep in mind that until then i had not offered to sell anything to anyone i was getting people who were asking me how can we work with you one-on-one -on -one? do you have a product that we can use to solve this problem we want to go deeper into this specific area can you help us out can you give us something to read that you've written things of that nature. And this is where I began to experience something that Gary Vee and Alex Hormozy talk about a lot, which is give and give and give and keep giving. And sooner or later, the law of reciprocity is going to come into play and people will automatically start reaching out to you, asking you if you have something to sell to them. I started experiencing this firsthand. And then I came to a situation where I'd built up a ton of demand, but I didn't have anything to sell. So then I picked up the most popular problem that people were having and I created a digital product around it. Now, bear in mind, another very common mistake that people make is they go and they make a digital product and they try 
try and sell it. I conceptualized a digital product. I knew what it was going to be in my mind. It was now time to sell it. You always want to sell a product first before making the product, especially if it's a digital product or an online service. There is no point in creating something that has not been tested that you don't know is going to sell. And I see a lot of coaches and consultants making this mistake. Course creators will create entire courses and no one wants to buy from them. Coaches and consultants will come up with entire services and they've got content and they've created videos and modules, but no one wants to buy. It's all linked to testing your market. And that's what I did. I tested the market first. I picked up the most common things they were having. I literally spoke to them and they were telling me, yes, we want to buy something. I built the brand equity first before creating a product. So the way I did this was I researched within my own group. I did one-on-one -on -one sessions with people to understand what problems they were having. I created polls in my group to understand what they would be most interested in. The Q and A's were a great indication to me of what the problems they were facing. And then I did live trainings right now. I have more than 45 live trainings in that Facebook group over the course of a year. I was doing a live training almost every week. So with all of that, I knew exactly what they wanted. It was time to launch the Free Your Mind program. This was my first digital product. It is a program that is designed not just to permanently remove stress, anxiety, and negative thoughts, but I went one level ahead. It allowed people to reprogram their subconscious mind all the way down to an identity level to allow them to become whoever they wanted to be to manifest whatever they wanted to do. It is such a powerful program that even today, it is part of the Record Breaker program, which is more about business and mindset and performance. This is the entire mindset aspect. The next thing I did was announce a webinar, a live webinar where people could join me and I would be addressing the most popular problems they were having live. I announced it, I got a whole bunch of people accepting the invite and a whole bunch of people showed up. I had more than 100 people watching me live four years ago on a webinar, it was unheard of. I designed this webinar, keeping in mind the most common mistakes people do, which is again, just giving teasers, just giving very superficial knowledge. I went the exact opposite direction. I gave people seven things seven tools, strategies that had worked for me and prior clients of mine, I gave them to those people for free. And I said, go ahead, use it. So I made it practical. I also made it entertaining. At one point in time, I hypnotized all the live audience. I dropped their stress and anxiety levels a ton. So needless to say, the webinar was a success. And at the end of the webinar, I informed them that this was the official launch off the Free Your Mind program. It was priced at $9.97 and now I'll be taking questions. And while I was answering people's questions, I started noticing the comments coming in. Where can I buy? I'm in. Please, I'd like to register. How do I pay you? Boom, 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 boom. The list of people kept going on. And after the webinar was over, I contacted these people. Five of them backed out. Twelve of them ended up buying from me at a price of $9.97, earning me a net total of $11,964. Not just in one day, but pretty much in one hour while I was running that webinar. And so Free Your Mind was born. Now, again, I still didn't make the program. I made a Facebook group where all those people entered and I continued selling the program. So more people kept joining every week. And I started it by giving a class every single week. And at the end of the three months, I had all the classes they needed. I had all the modules, I had all the exercises, everything done. The digital program was not just ready, but it already had a ton of results of all the people who'd been attending the program from day one. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I created not just my first digital product, but I made $11,964 in one hour. I hope you found this useful. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.